we are really proud to announce the observation of the associated production of a top quarks together with the Higgs boson. Uh, we are measuring uh, with, uh, with a pre statistical uh, significance of more than five sigma, so a very high statistical significance that the Higgs effectively couples uh, to the top quark, the most massive particle uh, in, the, in the standard model. This is uh, a very important result and I can say it's one of the milestones in uh, high energy physics. Uh, it was one of the main goals of RAN2 and uh, we achieved this uh, already now. So what we are measuring, what we are uh, showing today is that uh, we have enough statistical significance to confirm that indeed directly the Higgs uh, couples to the, to the top quark. We had just uh, indirect evidence before what we are actually seeing when we try to measure the, the properties of the Higgs boson. We are trying to, to see if they are actually standard model. If they are not, this would be a direction to follow for, uh, let's say, to find new, new, new physics. So precision fee measurements of the Higgs boson are really a way of finding new physics. This was also one of the most challenging uh, analyses that uh, we have done in our collaboration for several reasons. First of all, uh, the TTH production is only a very tiny fraction of the X produced at LAC, it's only 1%, so it's a rare production process. So in order to discover this process, we have to put together many decay channels. This analysis really involved uh, many subgroups I would say that hundreds of people have been involved and it's only combining all of them together that we could reach this uh, fatidical, uh, what we call observation. In this kind of result, it's really a collective success. For over 40 years, physicists have had a hypothesis about what causes the masses for quarks, about the origin of the masses of quarks. Uh, and this hypothesis is that quarks get their masses from their interaction with a, with a Higgs field, a field that is all around us. Uh, this result for the first time today establishes that that hypothesis is actually right. We've had indirect evidence of that for a while now, but this is the first direct proof uh, that this hypothesis is correct. This hypothesis is quite important. The masses of quarks are crucial for life as we know it. Uh, for example, the down quark is a little bit heavier than the up quark. And because of that, protons are stable, which means you can have hydrogen. And hydrogen is necessary for all of life as we know it.